In this video, we're going to talk about the Moxie Life Folio, uh, the Dot Grid Notebooks, and the Club Moxie Binder. Um, this kind of is an accessory, but it's kind of a folio, so we're just sticking it in this one for now. Let's start with the folio. So there's some big differences between this folio and last year's folio, which I have a sample of right here. So this is last year's folio. The first right off the bat is, is the size, meaning the width of the, um, of the folio. And then the second thing is the texture of the, um, the cover. So the texture is kind of had this uh, denim effect and this year it's buttery smooth and soft it is so soft like I'm afraid of scratching it it's so soft that's where we're at with the folio um, so when you open it up obviously you've got a snap closure as last year did not have a slap closure but also not along with the snap closure you get two magnets so you have um, some adhering properties which is which is fantastic because when you don't fill it up all the way and I'll show you this um, it adds a little bit of security so we'll we'll get to that in just a second so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up you've got four scoot that out of the way you've got four elastics you can put eight notebooks in here and I've put a whole bunch of notebooks in here before in basically the maximum so how these work by the way is you go to the middle of your notebook around and then you slip it through the elastics and it stays put now um, you can certainly now be careful pulling it out. I have done some damage onto some pages um, when I pulled it out too fast. So make sure you're thoughtful with that. So this is last year's companion notebooks. I did not buy companion notebooks this year because the only thing that's different is um, is absolutely nothing. They're still undated. The only thing is difference is the covers. The covers are the same covers as what's on the dot grid notebook. So there, there really is not a ton difference between the two, except that they got an upgrade in, um, in the covers, in the color of the covers department. So you've got your four companion notebooks, and this is your goal setting companion. This is that the one that has all the goals in it. And this is the one that I ripped. You can see um, I ripped this last year when I was doing my filming because I did not take it out carefully out of the folio. So that's just word to the wise. It does fit more than four because if you attach these two, let's see if I have one. Oh, look, I have one right here in my, in my, uh, this might be a little big, but you'll get the, the idea. So you go to the middle of two notebooks, then you flip it down and then you slip the first notebook under there and now you can have more than one notebook per elastic and that's just a little trick so but to ease and the sake of time I'm not going to go ahead and put the other ones on I'm going to talk about the pockets I never really did use the pockets very much in the folio um, they really you know didn't do anything for me they maybe held a sticky note um, and then it has this pocket here and then over here um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this up and show you with the closure so sometimes it connects with the the um, magnets here and then you just have to push down to snap it um, I did previously receive a, a folio there was some quality control issues with it so I texted or I, I emailed customer service and they were speedy to send another one out. I'm hoping nobody else has that issue. I think it was just a one off kind of situation, but they are always so wonderful at Moxie Life. Um, so the big question is a lot of people are, are wanting to know, does the Hobonichi fit? This is last year's, uh, excuse me, this current year's Hobonichi. This year they have this type of Hobonichi and they also have um, one that's called the Han, which is like more of a thicker, sturdier paper, a non-paper cover. Um, it's more of like, like a sturdy cover like this. I do not think that would fit in here. And this one, um, if you wanted to stress yourself out, and have this in here that would work fine I would rather just slip it under this pocket and it fits in here just fine um, vertical wise 
um, if you have one companion notebook, your goal setting assessments, and your Hobonichi. Let's see what that fits like. Again, I think it works just fine with those three in there. So it works well with different systems. Um, I have use this system with a uh, standard size traveler's notebook which is the same size um, height wise but it's just a little bit narrower that works in here and again i did show this on my accessories so this is part of the accessories collection it's sticky notes these do also fit nicely in here so you can have them if you're traveling my only concern that I have with this is what if you have less than a full um, folio? Let's just go ahead and take the Hobonichi out and then have, let's say we have just one, a notebook or two. Do you notice how this can be a little bit more challenging to close? The only thing that really helps is the elastics. You'll see when I get this close, it kind of sucks it up and then you can go ahead and snap. But if it's not full, well, that won't even, that one hasn't snapped yet. So if it's less than full, it's going to be a challenge to snap. Um, I also think that um, it's big, which is fine. I would not transport this to and from to work. This is just full. I did the four companion notebooks and the goal setting. Uh, um, this part. I had all of these in here with the folio and I put it on a scale and it's over three pounds. So it's significant. It's heavy and it's large. So I'm not sure I would take it, but it certainly is beautiful, lovely. And if you're a companion notebook person, I think this works great. Uh, I honestly don't know why you would want all four of quarters with you. You might want two. So, but the dot grid notebook, which they have in store, this is the new dot grid notebook with the uh, life compass here on the corner. This is the new one. Um, it does have a great bookmark that the others do not have. Um, so this is a, a, another glow up, but it does fit nicely again here in the folio. And I love all the colors of the notebooks. I just didn't want to spend that much money on a whole bunch of duck grids. So if you're doing the Bujo uh, planning system, this works well in conjunction with this. It also fits the 2023 um, reflections notebook, which is in the pile. Oh, here it is right here this is what the reflections notebook lo looks like and you will receive this when um, you place your order and it'll be for free on launch day um, i can't guarantee it would stay in stock after that but if you wanted to purchase it independently i know that it's ten dollars and those fit wonderfully in here i did my reflections for 2022 and that was really really good stuff so you can even get started on it now so you can prepare for 2024. All right, that is my um, little survey of the folio. I would give it um, a size wise, uh, a C, but overall functionality and um, softness um, is it, absolutely a B plus, um, almost an A minus if I was to really, really give it a store. Okay, let's talk about the Moxie Life binder. Um, so this is, if you're in Club Moxie, which is the additional course that you can sign up for, and it is totally worth its weight in gold. Um, I have learned so much from this, the materials from Club Moxie, and I brought my Club Moxie binder here. This is what I've been using for my Club Moxie, and it was, I just punched it and put it on rings. Um, and as you can see, we get a lot a lot of materials um so they've kind of condensed it for um for everyone um per page so i do every um back and forth on a page but if you wanted singularly you have to print on heavier paper they're way into color but i love moxie life i think it's done wonders for club moxie i think it's done wonders for my preparation and so this would be the binder that goes along with it. It has a fly leaf here that's sturdy plastic, um, like that a lot. And then each one of these um, are kind of a coated paper. If you imagine, you know, back to school supplies, you've got those coated folders. They're not the paper ones. 
Each and every month, you get um, a certain things that go with your Moxie Life si system, like getting started, challenging mindset, goal setting, coaching tips, mental health, resources, and book selection. Then there's sometimes like bonuses, like um, our Say Yes to the summer and then of course you have your notes and then uh this is a really sturdy folder and it does fit standard size pieces of paper eventually it just gets stuck on these rings so they're not attached over here i thought they'd be attached so when you get to the bottom if you don't your your paper kind of gets stuck all right well i don't know Maybe it's me. What the heck? Okay. All right. Well, it's in there as far as it can go. I think it's all the way down. Sorry about the struggle bus. I thought it would be easier to put in. Nope, that goes all the way down. So it does fit a standard size sheet of paper and then it has a fly leaf on the back side. Holes a little bit bigger so it slides better because this is kind of an interesting situation. I do think um, the cover which has this linen texture is lovely. It does have some foiling here and then I love the spine. It says Club Moxie and then their logo here and then your logo and branding on the back. Um, uh, I'd give this a B plus. I think that there's some things that I can fiddle with. Uh, I have links to all the other videos in our series um, for Moxie Life Release 2024. Um, and then you also have affiliate link and a coupon. So enjoy shopping and thank you very much for your support ahead of time. Um, always thoughtful purchasing um, and make sure that you're staying within your budget. I know uh, mom stuff, but um, I really do love Moxie Life. I appreciate it so very much. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.